Hello and welcome. My name is John Kavalik from the University of Sheffield and I want to talk to you about the European Business Growth Catalyst. I'd like to give you a bit, little bit of background about the program and what it actually uh, is trying to achieve. It's a European Commission funded program which allows SMEs to become more international and better at business growth. The European Commission is interested in business growth for obvious reasons. The reasons are that like every part of Europe, our economies and our social well-being is dependent on business growth. And I'll give you an example. In the Sheffield region in the UK, there's approximately 64,000 small businesses. There just happens to be approximately 64,000 young people who are unemployed or in menial jobs. It stands to reason, therefore, that business growth can actually help our social well-being. And it's for that reason the European Union and ourselves have a passion for business growth. Our partners are top management schools in Europe, all having AMBER accreditation, etc. So the University of Sheffield, ESADE, ESADE Business School, and ALBA. ESADE is in Spain and ALBA in Greece. And so the project is focusing in, pri in primarily those three countries, UK, Greece, and Spain, in the first instance, although it is likely to grow and expand to countries right across the continent. Because it's a European project, it's currently free because it's subsidized by the European Commission. The market value of this is approximately 4,200 euros. So it's actually a real bargain if you get on the bandwagon straight away. I'm going to be handing over to Glyn now, who's going to talk to you a little bit more about what it is and its objectives. Hi, this is Glyn from, from the Consultancy Academy. Uh, so what makes this program different from other university or college business programs? Well, one of the big differences is, is right from the start, you're looking at your own organization. There isn't any third-party case analysis. From day one, you're asking yourselves questions about your own organization, where it is now and how can it move forward. The sessions consist of little short plenaries where the best academic concepts are taken, but they're communicated in business language. Then you break into working groups and challenge one another over the issues faced within your own business. If we can, uh, what you do during this time is appraise the opportunities in your organization. Nobody knows your organization better than you do. And over this six-month period, what, what the program will do is it will give you a toolbox of structures and methods of analyzing your own organization. Not looking at different things in isolation, but you're looking at the total aspect of your organization. If you're poor at business, this won't make you good at business. What it'll do is it'll make you a little less poor. And if you're good at business, it'll make you better still. You'll still be making the decisions about your own organization from your heart and with your own expert knowledge of your own industry. But you'll be making that decision having considered all of the variables and the implications of what you're likely to do. I'll hand back to John now. So, what's the format and what's the uh, time allocation that you should be thinking of? Well, the, the Business Growth Catalyst actually occurs in six one-day sessions. So that means you're going to be coming to the university, either in Sheffield, in, in Athens, or in Barcelona for six one-day sessions per month. So that's one day a month. Uh, th those sessions will be introducing methods and knowledge and ideas and principles and hopefully, hopefully energizing people to think carefully about what the opportunities for business growth is in their particular organizations. You'll be working in small teams. We call it innovation think tanks. These are groups of people working together to analyze where the opportunities are, what would need to, be, to occur if we were going to realize those opportunities. Uh, 
and we'll be abstracting all the lessons and the ideas and and recording our process in what we call the catalyst workbook phase one is largely applying the method the methodology into your own organizations phase one consists of lots and lots of different ideas and you will probably find a group of things happening you'll be actually enacting change affecting change in your own organization within the first few months phase two happens usually towards the end and it can be can last for another six months if you so wish but it's essentially driving that change in from a business plan and a project plan we're applying the plan and abstracting lessons for the implementation these key priority areas for your particular business to get that growth going in a particular area of that business what you'll get is this I mean the primary goal is business growth for for your organization that's the the whole idea we hope that that will be the primary goal but of course in order to get business growth going we've got to grow individuals and of course that starts with you you in your own business um, we're hoping that you personally will grow and develop into a great business leader you will become a member of the European Centre for Business Growth which is actually a big thing in other words you'll be connected to a group of individuals and alumni if you like of the of the center right across Europe people dedicated to business growth people believing in business growth and who can energize yourself and and your and the people around you about the the possibilities of growth in your own context you'll have access to resources the universities the consultants involved people who deliver academics MBA people anybody with passion about business you'll have access to those types of resources and, uh, and individuals I think the next stage though is we're giving you a sense of what the, the European uh, uh, Centre for Business Growth is all about and the, what the program is about but I'd like to now open it up for discussion a question and answer session so that we can explore together what further what these things mean one question has come in and it says uh, how many people from each company well we're very keen on getting a, a mix of people from different companies but if there are two or three people from a set the same company that we think might benefit from this by all means why not we can we can accommodate that and what we would do is they wouldn't work together as one unit they would work separately in different working groups and then it'd be interesting to compare notes when you're back within your own organization. What exactly is the criteria to apply? Uh, the criteria to apply is we want people who are keen for, to grow their organization and, and have the influence to affect strategy within their organization. So, so that is the criteria. Someone that is looking to grow and develop their organization and is in a position to affect that, help affect that. Now then, is this a question that says by growth as a question? Growth can mean lots of different things. It doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean getting more turnover. It could in the short term mean reducing and focusing to create a stronger ba base to which to grow from in the future. Do, do we mean financial or people? Uh, wh what we're looking to do is to make all the businesses fit for investment. That could mean more investment to grow the business. It could mean more of your own investment, more of venture capital, or it could mean a sale. Uh, but key, it's about building a solid base for sustained growth. It's not about short-term growth. I'd like to add something in there as well. Whilst the main objective is growth and sometimes that's couched in financial language we can't avoid the people issues and the ability for people to actually grow themselves in order to grow the business it's all interconnected so uh, I wouldn't necessarily say it's financial or people it's actually both uh, 
you can be any of the. We've been asked, do you need to be a limited company, self-employed, third sector? Question. Any organisation, like key to it is the individual. The kin individual needs to be looking for development and to build and, and to grow and be hungry for that. I'd like to also add, add another point on to that, you know, the type of company or the type of organisation. I mean, certainly in the UK, we've got even public sector organisations that are quite entrepreneurial nowadays. They've got to develop new income streams and new growth patterns in, in what would be traditionally or historically uh, organisations that wouldn't have ever thought of it. So we want to be open to any organisation that wants to grow and develop. Um, obviously, being called the Business Growth Catalyst means that really we are trying to grow business and the focus is on private organisations. But we don't want to discount any organisation who have, has the ambition. Sherry, you've asked, uh, you've already been the Growth Accelerator Scheme, are you eligible? Absolutely. Uh, both of us are, are Growth Accelerator coaches and the organisation is training providers. But this is totally different. This is about coaching you as an individual to have the skills needed to assess your organisation and make judgments about it. Those skills are totally transferable to other organisations and businesses. And uh, another question has come in. Uh, can you concentrate on a particular area of the business where you want to affect change? And that's, well, the basic answer is yes, and that's actually quite normal. What we would normally focus in on is understanding perhaps uh, a product line, a product, uh, a service, or part of a market or a market sector, and possibly a, a, an international market. And sometimes those give us opportunities for growth, which we hadn't actually thought of before and so concentrating on a particular area is quite a natural outcome of, of the business growth catalyst. Joe, Joseph has just asked how many people will be allowed onto the program and is there a limited number? We're looking to have between, uh, between 20 and 30 on the program. There isn't a limited number because uh, if, if the numbers increase we will bring more people in to facilitate the sessions. The sessions will consist of about 15-minute plenaries, introducing some concepts. Then you'll be working in working groups uh, and challenging one another, and, and we'll be there to facilitate those sessions. Uh, the selection, the selection of people coming onto the programme, as Glyn said, the selection is based on two simple criteria. Number one is uh, the ambition. The ambition to grow and the second is actually those people who can affect change we are keen to get people into the program who are in a position to drive change into their own organizations uh, the, the sessions are all taking place in, in Sheffield at the University starting in October but simultaneously programs are being run in Barcelona uh, and in Athens so if you fancy going to Athens no problem Terry, have you have you left now, or you said thanks, but uh, uh, are you still with us? William, good. Uh, anybody? Uh, the, we've already we're we're already at the minimum number. Uh, we already have uh, twelve people that, that are fully committed to coming, so we're already over the over over the minimum. It will definitely happen. And Kerry, if you, if you want to apply, the application forms are online. Uh, I can put you the uh, application area up here. Uh, this is what, how to apply. You just go to www.ecbiz.eu forward slash application. And that, oops, whoops, just spelt that wrong, application. So that's www.ecbiz.eu forward slash application. And that should get you in. Uh, all you need to do is fill in the form, and then one of us will be contacting you. 
Well, once again, our apologies about the echo, uh, but I hope it's not affected the content of what we've been saying. Okay, right. We, we hope to hear from some of okay. you. And, uh, just... Yes, uh, if there's any questions... Uh, yes, just don't believe this is available for free. Uh, <laughs> we, we'd love to be charging you, uh, but the fact we've got a European grant for this, we're not allowed to. We're simply not allowed to... We, we will be commercializing this, but so that'll be a year in November. So uh, for this program, it's free. Okay, everybody. Uh, uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. You can go to the website, ecbiz.eu, uh, and you can drop, drop us a note, or our personal email address is at the university, j.kavalakat, sheffield.ac.uk, or lynn at consultancyacademy.com. Uh, we really look forward to uh, speaking to you. Yes, we do have full full dates available. Uh, they are again on the website. Yeah, just hit hit the website ecbiz.eu forward slash application. They're on there. Or go to the Consultancy Academy website, and you'll see a link link there as well. Brilliant, you found them. Good, good. Okay, we'll sign off now, if there's no other questions. And thanks for your valuable time, I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.